Hey, what's going on? So I see a lot of the same questions over and over in my clan chat, in the Discord, in the YouTube comments, and there seems to be a lot of misconceptions about certain things in the game. So today I want to clear some of those up and go over five common misconceptions that people seem to get confused about. The first thing I want to go over is boosting at the Motherload Mine. And I'm sure most of you know that the mining requirement to mine Runite is 85, however if you have a dragon pickaxe you can boost your mining level by 3, which does allow you to mine Runite at level 82 mining, even at the motherload mine. And the same goes for any other ore as well, you can mine it as long as your level stays boosted to at least a level requirement. The common misconception about this is that your level needs to be boosted when you're depositing your ores into the hopper, however this is incorrect. The ores are actually determined when you mine the pay dirt, so the boost doesn't even matter when you deposit them into the hopper. Okay, another misconception that a lot of people seem to make is that when you're training thieving with blackjacking that you need a higher tier blackjack or a different type of blackjack in order to get a better chance of successful knockout. There's oak, willow, and maple, and the only difference between them is that you get a higher strength bonus if you use them for combat, which let's be real, no one's ever going to actually train with them. And there's also offensive and defensive, which again won't affect your chances of successful knockout. The only difference is that with offensive, all it does is give you extra attack bonus, and defensive just gives you some defense bonus. I can't see any reason to ever train combat with these, so as far as I know, the different types and styles of blackjacks are just there to confuse people. The next thing that might seem stupid to some people, but something I see come up a lot, like every single day, is that you don't need to press the space bar when you want to talk in your clan chat. All you have to do is put the forward slash and then start typing. And I'm not sure if it's like a force of habit that people have from some other game, but it's really not necessary, and hopefully this can save your spacebar from a little bit of wear and tear in the future. So, the Max Cape is really one of the most overpowered pieces of gear in the game, because it has so many teleports and so many uses, and honestly, I feel kind of bad for having it sometimes, because it's way too good. And you may have seen Max Capes in different colors and styles, and a lot of people think that you're upgrading the Max Cape with the other cape, but in reality, you're actually upgrading the other cape with the max cape. A lot of people ask why I don't upgrade my fire cape or my arty cloak, and that's because if you do that, the cape you upgrade with the max cape still retains its original benefits, but it's purely cosmetic, so you don't get any benefits of the max cape. Like, maybe if I had a bunch of extra money to throw around, I'd get my fashion scape on, but for now, I'd really rather not spend 2277k just for a cosmetic boost. And the last common misconception that I want to share today is related to Wilderness Slayer. Now, Wilderness Slayer is separate from regular Slayer tasks in the sense that you have a different task streak. So if your current streak is 100 tasks and you go to get your first Wilderness Slayer task from Crystallia, then your Wilderness streak will be 1, but your regular streak will stay at 100. And you can only have one task at a time, so if you have a regular task, then you have to finish it before you can get a Wilderness task, and the reverse is true as well. And one more misconception related to Wilderness Slayer is about Slayer points. And some people seem to think that you get bonus points for every 25th task, and that's not true. And Wilderness Slayer gives you the same multiplier on task streaks as regular Slayer tasks, which means 5 times points for every 10th task, 15 times for every 50th task, 25 every 100th task, 35 every 250th task, and 50 times for every 1000th task. That's going to be it for today though, I hope the video was able to help you out in one way or another, and I have a lot more ideas that I want to share, so I might make a follow up to this in the future. But if you enjoyed this style of video, then please give it a like so that I know you want to see more like it, and I'm currently posting every single day at 9am Pacific Standard Time, so if you want to see more from me and stay up to date on my videos, then please subscribe to the channel, it really would mean so much. And feel free to join my Discord channel in the description, or my clan chat Mudkip as well, they're both great places to make some friends, so don't be shy if you want to come by to say hi or just to lurk as well. But I just want to thank you so much for watching the video, and I will see you again tomorrow.